We are learning more tonight about the youth coach shot by an angry parent. He is recovering from being shot multiple times in front of his players. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes just talked with his mother about her son's prognosis and the criminal charges in the case, and he joins us now live. Chris? Mandy, 30-year-old youth coach Shaquille Lattimore may soon take his first steps after being shot on the football field this week. That's according to his mother, who we just talked to about 30 minutes ago in one of the few moments she was able to step away from her son's bedside. Take a look at this picture she took of him Wednesday with his encouraging thumbs up. Latimer was shot Tuesday night by a man identified police as an angry parent. The St. Louis Circuit Attorney's Office has now charged 43-year-old Daryl Brian Clemens with assault first and armed criminal action. The court record says Clemens was, quote, upset with the coach for not starting his son. Fuck. <laughs> let, let this be a lesson to you, bro. Oh, I'm always learning. Uh, you're a real teacher, you know that? Salute, man. Yeah, man, but this is from the day. This ain't like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I went back in time. This, happened, this is this story from the day, man. What sport was it? Football, man. The victim's mother says her son was able to meet with police who came to his hospital bed where she says her son picked the suspect out of a lineup. Lattimore was coaching a city rec league football team of nine and 10 years old, nine and 10 year olds. His mom told me that he is a married father of five, but does not have one of his own children on the football field on this football team. He coaches the team because he wants to. All new tonight on Fox Foot Nine, hear the emotional interview with the victim's mom the supporting interviews from his fellow coaches and an amazing moment we had with his youth football team right here in Forest Park, live in Forest Park, Chris. I mean, God, dog, man. The community, man. The community. First on Fox, a youth football coach police say was shot by an angry parent may soon take his first step since the horrific shooting in oh, front of children. Is, Fox Files uh, investigator Chris Hayes met with a victim's mother today who was surprised by her son's youth team and fellow coaches. Chance of I got your back from the bad boys football team late Thursday afternoon in Forest Park. Coach Shaq is how the group of nine and 10 year olds knows their coach, Shaquille Lattimore, who was shot on their youth field Tuesday night. Lattimore's mom, Samiko, filled with emotion at the joyful greeting during one of her few breaks from her son's bedside. It's just amazing that the I want, I will, uh, I got to talk, the outpouring of love and support that we've had. She says this picture of her son says it all. Thumbs up after she says a surgery repaired vital organs struck by four bullets. He's making amazing progress. He is up, sitting up, he's talking. Her son was shot multiple times here in Sherman Park on North Kings Highway by a man identified by police as an angry parent. The St. Louis Circuit Attorney's Office has now charged 43-year-old Daryl Brian Clemens with assault first and armed criminal action. The court record says Clemens was, quote, upset with the coach for not starting his son. Samiko says her son is a married father of five, but does not have his own child in the league. She says her son coaches because he wants to. He gets off a 12 hour shift job and comes to coach these children. Just like his assistant volunteer coaches, Jennifer Perkins. We just want to give back to our community. You know, the, the streets is taking our children and we just want to give back and make sure that they have a better path. And Daryl Jones. I find peace coaching the kids. I used to play myself. So I find peace coaching the kids. The coaches say counseling is available starting Thursday for the players. Samiko says she can feel the support, even from strangers, and so can her son. The prayers, everything. We thank you all. Shaquille sees them. He appreciates it all. I appreciate it all. Thank you, St. Louis. Thank you so much. 
for the Fox Files? <sighs> so the dad, the dad who shot this coach, right here. This is the coach. The dad who shot this coach was mad because his son wasn't starting. And now he's in a world of trouble. He's probably going to be, he's, they're probably going to give him a bond, but eventually he's going to go to jail or prison for a period of time. This is why I say, man, Sun Men, a lot of times it's not, a lot of times having Sun Men in the community, fathers, it, it's not what, it causes more trouble than good. It causes more trouble than good. It's more trouble than it, because the dude is a son man. He's a son. Okay? He's a son. So you just got another fucking son man in the fucking community. And what he's going to bring to the table is usually not something good. Mm. Tell you, man. Fucking A, man. Let me show you something. Just to illuminate my point a little bit more. Let me show you something. Net by Pops for the first time after 30 years. I've been out there. Out there. Out there. Don't even fucking matter where I've been. Nigga, you weren't there. I owe $300,000 in child support. You ain't getting shit. Fuck. I get out of here. What? Well, I tried and everything. I couldn't touch with you and everything. Mama said she wasn't gonna do with me no more. Yeah, please yeah, just show up. Fuck that bitch, fuck you too. Nigga. Shit, I'm out. Drunk, huh? Yeah, I stay drunk, nigga. That's what I do. I do what I do. And if you don't like it, you can take your ass back to work. Shut up, nigga. Oh, be quiet. You too. I don't even know you. I don't even know you. Hell yeah. I'm gonna ask y'all about six so far, nigga. Wanna smoke a raw? Yeah, I'm gonna smoke a raw. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna smoke a you, you you don't necessarily want a lot of these sun men around, man. It doesn't it, it doesn't have we need more fathers at the home. Look who they're having children with. Sometimes it's better for that child that he's not around. Let us talk. Yeah. Go ahead, baby. What you want to know? How many kids you have? I got 33 daughters okay. and 13 boys. Damn. 22 baby mamas. I mean great two ex wives, 12 grandkids. Only out of three daughters. So imagine when the other ones get to pop at all. And a lot of times, y'all don't know the situation what I was going through on child support, bitch. Let me tell y'all stinking assholes something. In the last 40 years, all y'all stinking assholes who put y'all daddies, y'all brothers, y'all husband, and y'all baby daddies on child support, all y'all did is help the system gain 43 million black brothers and sisters is in jail for child support you stupid motherfucker and all you did is talk your fucking family you dumb bitch and then you wonder why nigga don't want let us talk yeah go ahead baby well we got 43 kids i, I counted 46 but you know anyway whatever he got a lot of fucking kids right what good does it do for him being around? Like, okay, he's around. Which kids he gonna be around? Which of the forty six kids he gonna be around? What household he gonna live in? He got twenty two baby mothers. 
And listen, man, I could have 22 baby mothers if I would have been reckless like that. A lot of people could have had 20. A lot of seven men could have 22 baby mothers. A lot of them do, though. I know one dude, I worked with him. That nigga had, what, he had like 12, 13 kids and shit. I know a bunch of, I know a bunch of dudes who had multiple double figure kids, like at least like 10, at least 10 kids. I know a bunch of dudes like that in Blackstone. And I don't even know everybody. I just know just from the people I know that 10 plus kids. What's up, Marcy? Not much. How you doing, Ark? Ain't nothing. So, yeah, man. Having a son, man, around, man. Just, just dudes just saying, man, we need fathers in the hole, man. Where's father at? Well, this is fucking father, motherfucker. You fucking dickhead. This is his father. 